my PU2 aspirants, so your midterm exams are ahead and if you are haven't prepared anything for the midterm exams, then also I'll give you some list of the topics that you must revise at this point at the last minute so that you can easily get 50 plus marks in your midterm exam, okay? So let's see quickly, I'll go chapter wise chapter, okay? So from Henry, uh, from the chapter solutions, please prepare only this much that will give you all the marks that is required. First one is what is Henry's law? Okay, just learn the definition and its mathematical expression. Similarly, Raoult's law and its mathematical expression. Difference between ideal solution, positive deviation and negative deviation, maximum and minimum boiling azeotrope. Here also focus on examples. Okay, next colligative property. So there are four colligative properties. So practice numericals. I have made a detailed video on all the possible numericals that will be asked. So you can revise those numericals video. So your numerical section from colligative property is done. Now moving to the next chapter is electrochemistry. Okay. So first here you should be learning about how to solve nurse equation question. Okay. That numerical you need to practice. Numericals on gives free energy. That is also important. Faraday's two law, okay, both the law, first law and second law, their definition, the terminology and their mathematical expression. Next, you need Kohlroos law, fuel cell, SHE, limiting molar conductivity, these all definitions. Kohlroos law, what is it? Fuel cell, its construction and its notation. Then you have SH, sorry, fuel cell reactions, construction and reaction. SHE also the diagram, the reaction and the cell notation. Next for limited molar conductivity, that is the molar conductivity change. How does it change for weak electrolyte and for strong electrolyte? What is the effect of dilution? Effect of dilution on molar conductivity. This is super important. Then that is what I have told you. So these are the main things that you have to study from this particular chapter that is electrochemistry. Now moving to the next question that is D and F block. Okay, so D and F block here you have the following things to prepare. Very important, why transition elements show catalytic activity, why they have, why they are colored compounds. I'll just add more here. Also, you should learn about interstitial compounds. Okay, what are interstitial compounds and what are their properties? So these are things that you have to remember. Preparation of KMnO4 and K2Cr2 7 very very important. One of them will be definitely asked. So please prepare these reactions thoroughly with balanced equations. Next lanthanide contraction super important and its consequences at least two to three consequences you should know. What is magnetic moment and how to calculate the magnetic moment formula. Actinoids, what is actinoid contraction and why it is difficult to study actinoids. These are some important questions that you should keep in your mind. Now moving to the next chapter that is coordination compound. Yes, coordination compound first I will talk about uh, whether I have not, uh, just a minute I will add that one. So first you should be focusing on the first thing that is Werner's theory, postulates of Werner's theory. Just remember three postulates are there. First prepare that one, okay. The second thing you should focus on is the nomenclature. Every, any one question will be asked. Isomerism will be definitely a question will be asked from here. Then talking about this one, VVT, okay. VVT of these four compounds is important, but if you don't have time, at least try to do this one, which is having coordination number six, COF6 and CONH3 whole six. These two compounds, hybridization, magnetic property, geometry, everything should be clear. Okay, this is not there. This is from DNF block. Next is very important, D orbital splitting in octahedral and tetrahedral field. This is important, next one. And after that, this is not important. If you have time, you can go through this. Next important thing is metal carbonyl bond. From here, definitely question will be asked. So synergic effect, how the bond is formed, everything you have to explain. Now moving to the next one, halo alkenes and halo arenes, very very important, SN1 and SN2 mechanism, 5 marker question they will definitely ask you. So in SN1, 2 steps, how to write, how the arrows are to be done, that you have to revise. In SN2, what are the steps, how it is written, what is the transition state formed, exactly you have to prepare it from the book properly. Next there is a question, halo arenes are less reactive than halo alkenes, what is the reason, 3 reason, directly 3 marker question can be asked here. Next, the name reaction, Swartz reaction, Finkelstein reaction, Woods Fittig, Woods reaction, Friedel-Craft reaction, also Sandmeier reaction. 
Okay, these are the important topics. Next, we have racemic mixture, enantiomers, stereocenter, or chiral. These definitions you have to prepare. Nomenclature, definitely, you if you have already studied from 11, nomenclature is very easy here. Isomerism is also very easy here. Okay. Now moving to the last chapter, alcohols, phenols and ethers. Let me tell you what all things very, very important. Mechanism will be definitely asked here. So there are three mechanisms in this chapter. The first mechanism is preparation of or conversion of alkenes to alcohols. The next one is the reverse one, alcohols to alkenes. Okay. Now the third mechanism which is not very popular but can be asked alcohols to ether. Okay, I can guarantee you that one mechanism out of these two will be definitely asked in a three marker question because it is five marker questions will be asked. Three plus two marker, right? Two marker can be any name reaction. Three marker will be one mechanism. Now coming to the name reactions here, you have Williamson ether synthesis, Kolb's reaction, cumin process, sulfon uh, sulfonic acid preparation, aniline, reamer tiemann reaction. All these reactions, please prepare properly. Then what is Lucas reagent, how it is used to distinguish between them, reaction of copper at 573 Kelvin. So if you remember here, primary alcohol will give you aldehyde, secondary alcohol will give you ketone and tertiary alcohol will not react. Okay. Then acidity order for alcohols is also asked here. Reactions of phenols and anisole, so especially in phenols, which reaction? Bromination. Okay bromination and nitration okay so when you use concentrated nitric acid we get picric acid right so these reactions are super important okay so that is there that you have to prepare in this particular chapter and yes that's all in this video so i hope it's a very short video quick revision so just go through this topic if you do not have time to search these topics you can easily just google these topics just learn these topics and go to the exam okay that's all in this video or you can just download the ncrt and just put control and f and just write down these terms you will get into that page and then you can read that paragraph from your book okay so that is the easiest way shortest way to revise all these topics and i hope this video was helpful if you have any further doubt put down in the comment section i'll definitely address to it thank you so much and all the best